Good morning, everybody. I'm Colette the Highway Stitcher, and I'm here to do my vlog number 10, I believe. Yeah, this is February 10th. Amazing. Uh, the letter for today is A, and um, today's piece that I'm going to work on is a piece by Artisy called Africa Woman with Peonies 2. This is a piece that uh, Denise of Black Ribbon Studio decided to start a number of years ago. She has a floss tube, so check her out. And um, when she showed it, I just fell in love with it. I just thought, oh, I have to do this full coverage too. So this is one of my artisy pieces. Um, Lace Maker is actually my other artisy piece. They're a little smaller than Hades, so a little more doable probably. But we'll see on that. You know, every single, every single full coverage is, you know, its own animal. So anyway, what I accomplished so far on this um, is this much right here. I decided to, um, I, I started this out on Pattern Keeper, but I decided to kind of um, diagonal, diagonal block stitch it. Um, I don't know why, just kind of what I wanted to do. And I've still been kind of enjoying it, so it's still going kind of diagonally. Um, though I am cross country a few things in it, as you can see. I kind of, when I see something that has a few stitches farther over, I, I move over to that. So anyway, this is what it looks like so far. I already have got the, some of, you know, one flower appearing and the other flower already there in her hand. When her hand appeared, that was just really cool. <laughs> just really looked neat. So I'm not sure, again, on what I'm going to work on today, what part. Uh, when I mentioned yesterday, I was going to just look for blocks of color. Probably I ended up doing um, typewriter method all across the top. Of course, that was a restart, so I could kind of decide what I wanted to do or what I was in the mood for. With this one, I think I'm still going to try to go diagonally. Um, it's just been kind of fun, and I may continue that. So if that's the case, we'll see if there's um, where there's a lot of confetti or where there's a lot of blocks of color and maybe go that route with a diagonal. Um, if I was just going to go straight diagonal, I would work down here because this has not been filled in. And if you're working your diagonal line, you know, this needs to all be filled in here. But that depends on what kind of stitching it is. So um, you'll be able to see tonight what, what I decided to work on. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else with this, but no, I think I'm going to go on, start working on it, and, um, good to see all of you. Hope you have a great stitchy day, and enjoy your full coverage February. Good evening, everybody. Here's what I accomplished today on African Woman with Pe- Let's say that again, Colette. African Woman with Peonies 2. <laughs> or I affectionately call it peonies. Anyway, this one was a little more difficult to choose what to do and where to stitch on it, even though I was surprised. I got 535 stitches on it, which I was really surprised at how many I got. Um, but you can't really tell from this. It looks like it's all black in the background. And I worked down here but as you can tell by all the spots that are still not stitched, it wasn't all black. There are three different DMC colors there, and you have to count really well. It's some 310, some 73799, which is like a black brown, and some 934. So it was, you know, was a lot more counting and a lot more confetti, just a mixture of three colors of confetti for the background. So um, I thought it was taking a whole lot longer to do. But actually, surprisingly, I got more stitches in it than I, than I thought. And all I really did was work on this section right here. I started about here, um, right about where that line is of other stitches, and then worked my way down here and filled in. Uh, 310 and 3799 was actually all I filled in to get the 535 stitches. A um, couple things that I didn't mention to you before. Right here, and it's probably hard to tell, it almost looks like her, her hand is cut off at the wrist. Well, what that's going to be, and some of it has been filled in, is it's white for a big, huge white peony. And, um, you know, it's not done. It's not completed. 
but those few little stitches in the middle there, you know, are like for the middle of the flower, and then the white is around it. So that kind of like cuts off her, her arm is the reason why it looks like that. Up here, of course, is like an iris that needs to be filled in. And down here, right about there, you can see some green that I filled in already, some leaves. There'll be some other leaves, and then this open area here that isn't filled in will also be another flower. So there's a lot of flowers in this piece. So in doing the diagonal, it kind of goes in fits and starts and is actually done in other parts that don't look done because it's like a white flower. Let me see if there's anything else I want to say about this one. Nope, that's it. A lot more confetti than I thought, but be that as it may, I got a lot of stitches accomplished. So this is 25 count, even weave, pre-gridded, one over one full cross with DMC. And um, well, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next installment which will be, since today was the letter A for this uh, name of this project, tomorrow will be V, wait, no, cover ridge. Tomorrow will be G, and I will let you know tomorrow what that is, what full coverage piece that is. So all of you have a nice evening. Um, get some rest and be ready to do some more full coverage stitching. So take care, everyone. Goodbye.